The best approach for choosing an insertion site when using secure cath is a lower down placement of the central catheter, just above the clavicle, as per the illustration shown. Select the appropriate size secure cath to match the catheter diameter. Place the catheter according to protocol, leaving a minimum of 3 centimeters of catheter external to the insertion site. The secure cath requires at least 3 centimeters of catheter shaft to attach to the catheter. The back end of the secure cath should not be placed beyond the zero mark on the catheter or closer than 1 centimeter from catheter hub. Please select the appropriate length catheter to leave at least 3 centimeters external while leaving the distal tip at the cavoatrial junction or lower one-third of the SVC. Lift the catheter to visualize the insertion site. Use the tip of a dilator to temporarily dilate the skin opening if necessary to allow easier insertion. Fold the secure cath base until the feet come together. Apply traction to the skin to help dilate the insertion site. Hold the folded base at an angle, aiming the tips of the feet at the insertion site. Turn the secure cath to the desired indwelling orientation. Release the secure cath base, allowing it to fully open until flat. By orienting secure cath towards the clavicle, it will allow for easier management of the lumens while in situ. The base should lay stable and flat without movement. Avoid areas of flexion like joints. Optional reorientation. If you wish to change the orientation of the secure cath base, fold the wings downward. Turn the folded base to the desired orientation. Then release the base to allow the feet to open. Gently retract the base to be sure there is some subcutaneous tissue between the securement feet and the dermis. Use sterile gauze to remove blood, ultrasound gel, or other fluids from the catheter and insertion site. Align the catheter with the groove in the base, making sure the catheter shaft and secure cath base are dry. Press the catheter into the blue groove. Place the cover on the base by pressing firmly on the center and then the edges of the cover while holding the base to affix the secure cath to the catheter shaft. A click may be felt and heard when the cover snaps onto the base. Visually inspect the edges of the secure cath to make sure the cover is fully engaged with the base. You should not be able to see a gap along the edges of the secure cath. Gently tug the catheter to assure secure cath and catheter are secured. Dress the catheter site per your institute's protocol. Let the site dry completely before applying any dressing. The secure cath works with all dressings and or antimicrobial discs. Do not apply the transparent dressing too tightly. Do not turn or twist the secure cath from its original position. Be sure to cover the insertion site, the secure cath, and any external portion of the catheter up to the extension tubes with the transparent dressing. This will prevent pulling or kinking of the catheter. If catheter adjustment is necessary, simply remove the secure cath cover, pull the catheter back, make sure the catheter and secure cath are clean and dry, and then replace the secure cath cover. Redress per hospital protocol.